because I don't want to push him to go northwards. I want him to keep coming west so that we can keep seeing him. And the reason why we quickly came to him is just in case he did start to go north. But at least in this way, we can just kind of follow, well, not follow, he's going to follow us. And you can see just how relaxed this male is. I mean, I'm literally reversing with him kind of neck in front of us, walking straight towards us, basically. And so he's looking up in the trees as well. I wonder if maybe he didn't get robbed of a kill this morning. And that's why we saw quite a few hyenas around. It could be the reason why. And here he keeps coming now. So I'm just going to keep going with him. Now we might get a bit of picture breakup as well because we are heading towards sort of Sydney's dam area. We're going very slowly, so it should be okay for now. But if we do, I do apologize that there might be a bit of breakup. But look at this guy. Isn't this just the coolest view? And there's those big paws. And I was saying just now that he still looks in great condition. He's got that dewlap still and his, his body condition is good. For a male leopard, he doesn't look bad at all. I mean, he's not in the same size category as Tingana. Tingana definitely is a bigger individual, but he is still looking really good so I'm quite impressed actually with the Mvula and what he's managed to kind of accomplish as an older individual so it's been really good to kind of have him around over this winter I didn't think I would ever get to see him Mvula again and you know he's just kind of come out of the woodwork and has carried on and still is around and look at that he just is I don't know there's something about him Mvula I always like him his eyes are absolutely incredible particularly in kind of cold weather like this look at those blue blue eyes they're so unique and very different to what we see from a lot of other leopards now I'm just trying to reverse a little bit and trying to get back and just trying to kind of get it into a position where Vim can actually get a steady shot because I know I'm making it quite difficult with VM while I'm reversing back like this. It is kind of not easy for VM to just get a steady shot. But there we go, VM. I'll just let you get one or two where we're not actually moving ourselves. And then he's just walking straight towards us. And he's completely not phased by us doing what we're doing, which is quite amazing. It's an, an incredible thing to be able to do this with the leopard. Is Not many leopards would actually allow us to kind of reverse like this and to keep kind of going and just move along with them along the road. Now, I've got to be a bit careful of Aubrey because I don't know where Aubrey is so I don't want to reverse into him I know he came behind me somewhere and he's turning around so what I'm probably going to do is just pull off to the side here and let Aubrey come past or let Aubrey have a chance of him walking towards him because that's how we do it is we all got to have a little bit of a chance and so I'm just going to try and pull off the problem with this is that obviously VM's field of view is severely severely limited when I do this and so there we go VM sorry I'm going to try to get out of your way as much as possible as he comes past. As you can see, look, he's just gonna watch us. Look at those eyes. Isn't that magical? Hello, boy. Wow.